We're in Houston at the 2012 ABB Automation and Power World, and last year we were at this event in, in Orlando, and you had some pretty interesting things coming out of your corporate development group in, right. in Sweden. And Magnus uh, Larsen, you, you're uh, kind of overseeing that group over there. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this this rather interesting uh, combination of HMI and video game here behind me. Yes, absolutely, Peter. So what we have here is a combination of an eye tracker. Can I take that? Sure. Uh, we have an eye tracker here that reads my eyes. Uh, right now it reads Isaac's eye. And then we have the Xbox uh, Kinect camera from uh, the gaming industry. And we have also gaming technology for the 3D model. Um, and the idea is if you are in a really dirty environment and you cannot touch the system and interact, then you want to interact with the system in another way, like uh, to get the information from the system. You can just by looking at the alarm list bring it forward, you can look at objects, you can look at the trends and, by, and uh, get the information you need. And there's a stream of objects that you're selecting by just waving your hands and get them over here. And then uh, that stream of object is... Uh, fed into your phone later for later uh, reference and uh, after you have got all the information you need you can go back and solve the problem at hand. Okay so this this red dot this that's red kind of dotting in here. This is uh, this is Isaac's this is tracking where Isaac is, is looking. Yes. All right so let's take a let's take a closer look at this and, and actually uh, watch what happens when you're operating it. Absolutely. My colleague here is uh, now going to pull out some information from uh, from the control system, but he cannot touch the, uh, the computer or the screen because he has uh, very thick gloves in a greasy environment. So he's uh, using his eyes to look at things in the 3D model. And when he makes a swiping gesture, uh, those objects will be selected and brought to the left screen. And the schematic view gets zoomed in on that object so he knows where it is in relation to all the other uh, objects in the system. And now we can look at the alarm list, and just by looking at that box, the alarm list zooms out and you can see the current alarms for that uh, object. And in the same way, you can look at the graphical trends and see how the values for that object have changed in the last few minutes. And uh, you can navigate the model up and down just by using his gestures and swipe in any, any object he needs. And this stream of object that he has selected will also be transferred to his uh, smartphone or his tablet so he can bring them with him when it's con continuing his work. All right, so Magnus, how far is this away from, from being a product and, and where do you see this most likely to be used? So, Peter, this is uh, going to be used uh, in an area where it's really dirty and you don't, cannot uh, touch the system. And we are now in the research lab exploring this kind of technology so we can uh, take it further into ABB's product portfolio, but uh, we really need to understand the technology fully and understand the benefits of all combining all the technology from both the gaming industry and more the, the traditional uh, hard uh, industrial systems. Okay, and then over here you have some, some updates of the, the system that uh, Martin and Suzanne were demonstrating Absolutely. last year. So let's uh, go take a look at that. Yeah, let's do that. So Isaac, we were looking at an earlier version of this last year at this event. You know, where, how, how has it changed in the, uh, in the last year? And I understand that you're already beginning to deliver this as a, as a product now. That is correct. We have, uh, we have a pilot installation with this with a Swedish customer, and they are very happy with it. They are using it uh, uh, almost daily for their meeting, planning meetings. So what we did for, uh, for this year was that we changed uh, the underlying technology to use a, uh, another uh, 3D gaming engine, and that has allowed us to do a, a much higher quality of graphics here. What you're looking at is really uh, graphics that, that is very similar to what you see in modern games today. Uh, the concept as a whole is still the same. You have the main KPIs here at the bottom. You have the floating KPIs here. You have the zooming. And you can look now at KPIs for that particular department. Um, you can tap these and see the trends and uh, how the value has changed over time. And the same for the main KPIs here at the bottom. These are fully interactable. And the thing with, with using this kind of uh, 3D game technology is that we can do things like uh, having a safety tour. So now we're uh, doing stops at various places in the, uh, in the plant, looking at things that are relevant for you as a maintenance or security officer. 
you can combine this with real-time data from, uh, for instance, uh, cameras, the, how uh, the status of your gates, are they closed, are they open? So you can do this virtual tour uh, without having to walk around the, the facility. Complete, complete with rabbits. Yes, absolutely. You can see some rabbits there. Right. And where are you aiming this? What, what, are the, uh, what are the customers that you are likely to, to take this to first? Oh, so this really could be at any site where we're using, uh, where the customer is using 800 XA. As I mentioned, we have this already in a uh, pop and paper plant, but uh, this could uh, be adapted to work on uh, an oil rig, an, a refinery, a mine, really any system that can uh, can run 800 XA. Okay. So the 800 XA is the important thing here. This is designed to, to interface with that control system at this point. Absolutely, but it would also need to integrate with other systems like the historical databases, the business systems, the like SAP to track things like costs and and other things. So, so this would really pull information from all the all the systems that you have. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure.